2023 is literally around the corner and I'm just gonna tell you now, if you are not prepping ready for it, you're wasting your time. Uh, I don't wanna be the doomsday, but we're gonna talk about 2023, what I see is coming up for photographers and trends and things that we need to get out of bad habits. We need to leave them in 2022. We should have left them in 2021, 2020. And I've done loads of videos on this, so make sure you watch all the others if you can. But we're gonna hit this one that you've never watched and so there might be some overlap, but there's gonna be a lot of good stuff, okay? So let's go. Right, the first thing we're gonna get out of is putting all our eggs in one basket. If you your Instagram is our portfolio. That is not our portfolio. That is where we go to show off stuff. That might be where we store some stuff or maybe approach likable clients, but we need to actually have something that we are 100% in control of, like a website. No, I am not a sponsored thing, but there are many website providers you can have that God, that every photography channel seems to have on here has a sponsorship from one of them. Go get yourself a website because if all else crashes around us, we can look after our own, which is our domain. Yes, I know websites can drop out, blah, 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 but how many people are having their Instagram accounts disabled, d deleted, uh, infringements put on them, all of that. Make sure you have your own. There are so many social media now that you, often we can't keep up. If it's not the Vero revival, it's it's make sure you're on TikTok, it's all this. Get yourself a platform that you're in control of, which is a website. I have um, people who come for me for assistant jobs who go, yeah, yeah, can I see your portfolio? Yeah, just check out my Instagram. I don't wanna check out your Instagram. I want you to carefully archive me nine, 12 pictures that I can look at. Go do that, go give me a website, okay? Go check that out. Instagram and and, and all that is not your portfolio. You need to have something that is entirely owned by you. We need to face up to it. Video is here to stay with the, the love of TikTok going on. And even Instagram saying, look, video is definitely one of our top level performing inputs, if you like, onto social media. We need to be looking at video. That doesn't mean you have to become a videographer, although that's a great way to stay awake in some extra money. Put all your images together, make slideshows, do behind the scenes, start filming behind, get on YouTube. This thing like, you, do you know YouTube is the second largest search engine online and people don't even put it in their marketing strategy? I mean, how mad is that? Do you think I started this YouTube channel with the idea that I would just be letting you guys watch content? Do you not think there is a slight marketing element to this for me? There is for every single person. Go and get yourself a YouTube channel. You might think, oh, I'm too old for this or I'm not ready for this. Start. Start, because I'll tell you what, my YouTube, I don't have a lot of followers and this is a good time for you to go subscribe. Please go subscribe, you know it like helps the channel, it helps me. I am getting stuff from people seeing these videos. Do yourself a favor. If you're not already working hard on your SEO, go get yourself a YouTube channel, start doing content specific for your area. Go do it, it will work wonders, okay? Video doesn't have to be slick. People, like, look at this. People just want to engage and get the information. The more important thing is that the information you provide is good, the audio is good. And then comes video. You don't need to have sexy transitions. We all want those, but we don't actually need them to make a good video, okay? If you're seeing it everywhere, if you're on social media, everyone's transferring themselves into the AI algorithm and like, this is what I look like in the 1930s. This is what I look like if it was in an art very painting. Okay, AI is here to say it will not replace photography. I'm fed up people going, oh my God, this will replace photography. Uh, AI is not people. It is creating from already existing creations, okay? So for me, no one is gonna go, oh, that's what I wanna look like, that's all my family portraits done. That isn't how it's gonna happen. But AI is definitely working for us in terms of editing. Photoshop's got it, um, Lightroom's got it, Capture One's got it. Do embrace it. I mean, it's speeding up my editing no end, but don't poo-poo AI, but definitely not think of it as a reason why photography is gonna end, okay? Enough with that speak. I've seen like YouTube videos about this and I'm like, really? Client interaction. This is gonna go on like a couple of parts, but first of all, get yourself a CRM. You need something that is a client relationship management software. You need to have your client data looked after. Are you shooting Ninja? Yes, there is a affiliate code in the link below. Get it now, not when you're all getting clients in. Pay now so it's all set up, ready to go. You can integrate into your mail list. You can get everyone. You can look at how much revenue you're making. You can see which ads giving you people return. You can see where to focus your social media on. You can see so much more by having it. All their information is stored. You keep track, you can auto respond so much. You're spending less time doing the admin. I'm a photographer, not a bloody admin person. I don't wanna be spending this time doing this. It's all automated because I've set it up. I spent a few days setting it up and I'm ready to go. Now my clients get reminded two days before the shoot, the, what, the, what to wear to the shoot, if it's a special type of headshot um, or reminds me of the location and then the day before it reminds me of any problems, let me know. All of that is done, I'm not chasing them. It's all done for me, saves me time. I can spend more time shooting, more time with my family, doing more I need to do or what I want to do more importantly so yeah get yourself one day start off the right way and that also goes with like insurance you should already have this but we're going to go on to because I cover that in a lot of the videos so I'll link those videos here and 
somewhere else in the video so you can go and watch those as well. There has definitely been a significant change in the popularity of images. Before it was very heavily photoshopped, very curated, very beautiful images and now people want storytelling images. They want a more natural edit. That's definitely what we're seeing. I'm seeing some of the other creators picking up on this trend so I'm just going to say that is what I'm definitely seeing with my clients. That might just be my clients but I'm seeing it with other creators that say they're having this more um, natural feel to the edits. I know that a lot of the clients I'm working with for their content and their brands are saying, look, can we have a bit more of a natural vibe to it? That's what we're aiming for and they're showing me pictures and snapshots that they've taken. They want it to be more authentic. And with that comes more storytelling and people want to have an element of that in the imagery. And then from that, I'm seeing an increase in print sales and not just physically pictures being printed, but maybe into those little um, one-off newspaper types where, you know, for like weddings, people are enjoying those, little magazines. I'm definitely seeing an increase in print so if you haven't already built a relationship with a printing company go have a look uh, there are so many out there if you need me to recommend some um, I can recommend the ones I want in my comments but definitely have a look at getting prints out and I use pixie set for me so that I can upload my images and my clients can buy their prints direct there and I'm seeing a massive and I mean this and I cannot really expect this a massive increase in people buying prints particularly around this time of year but people especially after weddings after are buying those prints in so I can't always do after after person sales like after in-person sales sorry especially on a wedding I am making so much money after a wedding in print sales if you do not have it and do you know Pixet will give you a free account already but again if you want an affiliate code affiliate code check out below and you get I think some more freebie space and I get a little kickback go have a look get it done integrate with a printing company in your area and before you know it just making money. I mean, why are you leaving money just sat there? Go make it. And finally, I feel this one could be quite controversial for some people. A long time ago, everyone was told to niche or niche down into one genre. I'm definitely saying now, and I'm seeing it with other creators saying, diversify. That doesn't mean spread yourself wide, like do estate photography, jewelry, talk all that, but definitely broaden a little bit more of what you do. Look sort of outside the box. If you already do portraits, maybe look at bloggers doing their um, social media content. If you're already doing bloggers and social media content maybe look at product photography just those that kind of all fit in together not massively branched out you know if you do landscapes why not do estate photography that kind of thing branch out because i'm seeing people are wanting to come to one person rather than shop around for loads i'm not sure if that works for every single person but i'm definitely seeing that for the people who perhaps um aren't as well established i'm saying and i'm not saying spread yourself super thin but definitely diversify a little bit and if you are comfortable enough to shoot it um, you might find yourself getting a little bit more of an income. I, I get people who come to me and say, you done my business headshots because you do my family portraits. And I'm like, yeah, I can do family portraits. Or I get people who've done their family portraits. Hey, do you do weddings? Yes, I do weddings. I am set up for those, but they kind of lead on to one another. Rather than someone coming to me, oh, you're a product owner, can you do my wedding? I would probably say no if I was that way, but I might be able to do, I don't know, your brand content or maybe a branding shot with you because I'm already doing product. I'm already, no, there's a little bit of a segue there. But don't be afraid to diversify. That also could mean that you side step slightly into short form video content, you know, like the short, short format ones. So like um, maybe you do TikTok or behind the scenes or something. Don't be afraid to diversify yourself. I realize that kind of defeats the whole niching down, niching down that you're often told. But I'm definitely seeing this with other creators who are talking about this. Other video people are talking about other um, people with video channels like this are talking about it. Video channels. YouTube channels are talking about it. So yeah, definitely look at this for yourself. This is my 2023 trends and like business stuff. Um, I am gonna just say from me, 2023 in the UK particularly is quite a scary time with so many rising costs and uncertainty. The more you can do to future-proof your business, the better. That can actually mean that you go on education, uh, taking part in some education. I know, and I'm just going to say this because I've already just sat through some. Studio Ninja offered quite a few free masterclasses. I do believe they're going to continue those. Go have a look at them for their masterclasses. Go and try and consume as much free content. And honestly, go on YouTube. There is so much free it's sort of education on here. My channel's full of it. There are so many other channels. Go look at people who I've recommended. Um, perhaps go look at people who are recommended in the, um, after you've watched me, maybe YouTube's algorithm will point you to other people. Like for example, Mango Street offer great information. The Tin House Studios offers great information. Go have a look at those because there are so many people giving you free content. But I'm going to say now, you need to start showing up. Put your face, and I this has come close to this one. Close. Start showing up on your content. You can post as many pretty pictures as you want, but people will buy from people. So get your face on your brand. 
Show them who you are. Don't be afraid to go live. Get it done. Doesn't mean it has to be perfect. Get it done because people will buy from people they believe in to start showing up and being proud of your brand. Anyway, let me know what you think of the 2023 video. Be sure to check out all the other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Um, I'm working on a project away, so this is why this is a bit slapdash, this video. I do apologize and I should be able to reveal all about what I'm doing very soon. Take care, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye.